Hey everyone, welcome back to That 3D Printer Guy. As you know from my last video, I purchased a couple of Bamboo A1s with the AMS system. And so I got it listed here, how we're going to set it up as a top mounted system. They offer the top mount STL files on their website, which I'll share below for you. On their website, you can also purchase the kit that has all the different screws labeled for you to make it a little bit simpler. First thing we want to do is take this piece here and we're going to apply some grease into our groove here. Once you have a good amount of grease in there, you want to grab your next piece. You'll see the matching symbols. We're going to slide this in and twist it. Once you get the pieces together, you'll take one of your locks, slide it into the hole until it's flush like this, and take your screw, simply screw it in, holding everything together. Once that's complete, you'll take the latch and you're going to attach it here with two of the provided screws, the M323s in size. With those two screws in place, your latch should be functional. For this next part, we'll go ahead and use our arms and our little round pieces here. We want to turn these to our side and we're going to put these right inside here. Just like that. Do that on both sides. For this next part, go ahead and take your clamps. This one will be for the left side. The other will go over here. Slide it and put them down just like that. Same thing on the other side. Slide it over. Twist it and down. Very simple. For this next part, we're going to get our stiffeners installed. We want the smooth side, not that side, against the side over here. Should line up pretty well and slides right into place. We'll put our two provided screws in each side and repeat the process on your other side, lining up nicely. Now, once you get all the four screws in, make sure you go to the other side and install the other two screws. One of the tricks I did realize is sometimes when you print, they're not always fully cleared out. So if you take the tool they gave you and actually push it right through and it'll go all the way through the other side and gives you a good chance to scrape it out, making sure that everything is set up properly. We're coming along, I like it. Now, once you get the two screws here and on the back, Make sure you get the two that anchor on to the actual Z-axis. This is gonna give that full support. Now we'll take our clamp from earlier. Clamp facing you. Rest it right up, top and center. Should rest nice and snug. And clamps up. Just like that. Perfect. Now we bust out our AMS. And if everything works right, we should be able to slide this piece right up onto there. We're gonna follow up by screwing in on both sides. All right, at this point, you can see we now have the AMS light system mounted up top. We have our Z supports, and we have it all screwed in. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach our ports here that's going to help guide our tubes and then go ahead and connect our Bowden tubes making sure we're flushing it through matching our numbers such as lot four and three one and two once you've got your tubes connected nice and organized you want to run them down in the corresponding spots near the hot end make sure you plug in your four pin connector we'll do that here in a second and there you have it. All set and ready to go. Thanks again, everyone. Please let me know down below what I can improve on, things you might want to see in the future. Other than that, happy printing.